Hello and welcome to the ST Stands at Electronica 2024. Last year, the wearable technology market was valued at $120 billion, and that's double, double what it was worth in 2022. It's a huge growth market, and great news for ST because the company is pioneering some innovative work in biosensors. In fact, there's a new product being launched here at Electronica, and Asma Muti is here to tell me more. Hello there. Hello, Chris. Thank you. Before starting, let me just start by asking a question. Have you ever worn any wearable device or any yes, house monitor? Yes, there you go. Oh, that's amazing. What do you use it for? Nothing very exciting. Mainly, mainly the number of steps I walk on a golf course, which is quite a lot these days. Ooh, and what is really valuable to you about that data? Accuracy, the amount of data, mainly building up a, a clear, a health picture, I suppose. Like Chris, you are in luck because with this brand new technology, we are not addressing only these concerns, but even more. Okay, don't lose me on the technology, but explain what you're doing. No worries. The biosensors are a new and unique family of products we are adding to our MEMS sensors portfolio, addressing applications in healthcare, fitness, and wellness. How do they work? We have combined two cutting edge technologies, a vertical analog front end, which is a very small, low power circuitry capable of measuring some biopotential signals coming from our body, as signals coming from the heart or the brain or from the nerves. With this, we have a motion MEMS capable of measuring the movements we are doing. Both of them into one single sender package. And is that what makes it unique? That's what makes it stand out, yeah? Exactly. That's one of the features that makes it unique. Because instead of having two sensors, one for the biopotential measurements and another one for movement detection, we have both of them into one single dot, into one single chip which will reduce the surface in, in applications as wearable where surface is very, very needed. And as well, we are taking advantage of the AI processing features embedded inside the sensor itself to have some of the processing inside the sensor and send only the data we want to the microcontroller, which helps reduce the power consumption of your whole system. Okay, I know you've got a demo. I'm willing to be the biosensor guinea pig. If you prefer, I can pretend to be a doctor in you the patient. Right, good luck to my heartbeat then. Hang on a minute, <laughs> let me move this out of the way. So, fingers on there, yeah? Yeah, exactly. So in here we are having uh, an evaluation board. It's the Sensor Toggle Box Pro. With this, we have these electrodes, which are able to measure your heart beats. So as you can see on the screen, we can see your heart beats. I hope you are not nervous. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, yeah, there's my heartbeat coming up there. 82 or something, that's quite good. There we go, not bad yeah. at all. Let's take this to the next level though, because I know we have another patient, another volunteer, Petter, who's gonna show just how advanced some of the information exactly. is. Exactly. So Asma, talk me through the data that we are extracting from Petter's arms. Then. Well, and here Petter is using different electrodes than the one you used before. So in here he has three electrodes, two to have a closed loop on his heart to be able to measure the ECG signal, and then the third one as a reference. So if we look closely onto the screen, we have the MEM Studio, which is a desktop tool for our MEM sensors. And if you look, we have the ECG signal from Petar's heart. And then just below, we have the heart rate variability, which is different information from the ECG. And just in the right of the screen, we have the heartbeat. We focus today on cardio data, the heart. But isn't the most exciting thing that the potential is so much greater than that? You're absolutely right, Chris. This technology has a lot to offer beyond smart watches. Let me give you an example. Imagine a truck driver using a kind of smart glasses with biosensors inside. These glasses could help him monitor his eye and see if there is any drowsiness. And with this, we can prevent accidents. Yeah, some kind of alarm signal saying take a break or whatever. Exactly. And so many accidents are caused by driver fatigue. That's right. What about office work? How people get eye fatigue in offices? 
we have a lot of office workers in the world. There is more than one billion people, including me. So with these glasses, we can use them to monitor eye strain, which is really a big problem for these people when you're in front of the screens, and tell us uh, when needed to take breaks to prevent fatigue, to prevent headaches. And finally, how's it going to make me a better golfer? Oh, using a smart bracelet. Really? With, yeah, you can. <laughs> using a smart bracelet with body sensors inside could help you monitor your swing. With this, you can combine with biopotential signal measurements to have some idea on your muscle activity. When this combined data can help you prevent injuries, ultimately improve your game. I'll believe it when I see it. This has been fantastic talking to you. Where can people find out more? You can find out more on sc.com slash biosensors. Great stuff. Asma, it's been lovely talking to you. Enjoy Electronica 24. Me too. Thank you.